Do you want to know how to make your text pop on screen while talking in less than 5 minutes, and it's horizontal, vertical, red or blue, even in different fonts or size? Then you're in the right place, because this is exactly what we're gonna learn today, how to use the title effect to make those kind of opening. But let's get started and jump into the Vinci Resolve. As we can see, I'm already in my edit page, I've got a timeline ready, I've got a background, I've logged that track so I cannot cut it by mistake, and the first things we will do is to open the effect library. For that, we're gonna go to the top, right here, click on effect, open the effect library and then under title we will play with text and text plus they work differently so make sure to not skip ahead but let's start with the first one text from here i'll be able to customize it if you want to go more than four lines you can it's an aesthetic choice i think it looks really cramped otherwise but for something that kind of pop up and really looks great four line is around what i'm seeing that works really well from here i can decide to change the size of my text if i wanted to that could work where they change the size of everything at once same thing for the color, everything turns green. In order to change things individually, you simply, and it's really that simple, you simply need to select the text. Here I'm gonna select, for example, change the color, going from green to red, and I'm only changing it at the top. That works for the color, it works for the size, it works for the font as well, so if I wanna change that to urbanist, a medium size, no problem. If I want to change my tracing, so how much space between the letters, I can also do that, and I can even reduce the line spacing to make sure that the line under it kind of stay close. We're gonna have to play around, but I can do that for every line. I don't need to do that for the old line, I can do it for a single word. So for example here, my custom, well actually it doesn't need a final E. That's what you get when you speak French as a first language, you make spelling mistakes. But nonetheless, this is exactly what we're talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and tweak it to give you a feeling. Uh, and now as I'm doing that, you can see that everything is being spread. So I'm gonna go back to my custom title, I'm gonna reduce that line spacing, just making sure that I keep everything together. Awesome as well needs to bring the line under back up. No more than four lines, I probably want to make that a bit smaller. It's kind of a, you know, a small disclaimer. I'm gonna reduce the size and increase the tracking to make sure that I can spread it. Um, and here you've got it. From there, you can really play around. I've done it in the intro, you've seen for what it looks like. But before you leave this video, because you already got what you wanted, let me show you a small problem, that is, what happens if I break my title in two and decide to animate the text bit by bit? You can see that the text is jumping. So if I want something that pops up and fills the screen as I talk, I will simply move my anchors. Rather than having everything centered, I will want everything coming from the left top corner. So then the text can go from the right, can go from below. So for that, in the inspector, let's change for an anchor on the left, for an anchor at the top, and then use the position to bring back the text where we want it to be. So now if I come here and decide to delete some text at the bottom, we can see that it doesn't work and that is because I've left my text to be centered. One thing to not forget is to bring everything as an alignment to the left. That shows you how much preparation I do on this tutorial, but we're not here to judge me, we're here to learn. And as you can see, as I delete text here, this is exactly what I want. But now we can have, you know, for example, my custom title, awesome, but no more than four lines. And now you get exactly that effect as I had in my intro. Spend more or less time tweaking it and you've got it. But having to cut that text every time is probably not the most convenient way. There is a better way of doing that, and that is when I will want to use the text plus. So let's bring this here, and now let's do the same thing. And here if I do the same thing as before, if I select something and decide to change the size, everything will change at once. So this is not what we wanted, but look at this. I've got the right on, and I can use that with some keyframe to make my text appear as I go. We're gonna get to this towards the end. So. How do we do that customization here? How do we play around with the text plus? So we're simply gonna come in the text box, right click, and then enable character level styling. That means I want to be able to stylize, to apply a style on every character if I wanted to. To apply that styling, we're gonna need to go into the Fusion page. Now, before you panic, this is extremely easy. Because I've enabled the styling, I can now select which of my text I want to customize, go into my modifier, and here I'll be able to apply a change. For example, a change of color, size, line spacing, font, maybe as well. Right, maybe I want to have permanent marker, whatever. This is more powerful than the normal text. Text press is also great to use with expression and have some counters or things like that. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to make a counter. But here I can do more than with the normal text. I can come into the transform and I can start making extra change. For example, under rotation, uh, right here, I can now rotate on the Z axis, either all my character at once, either per word, uh, either the complete line, that's something I can do. And this is how I've done that horizontal. From here, I will be able then to move with the pivot, being able to move that text, or simply come back here and I can use my horizontal anchor 
on my vertical anchor to be able to move that text where I want it to be, right? From there, that's completely easy. I can move things around. I'm not gonna go through how you can make the change for everything. If you wanted to have a bit of styling, for example, you want to get some different shading. And here I can really play around and go further in terms of customization, but you got the principle, right? From here, your imagination is the limit. Now that it's done, I can come into the edit page, go back at the beginning, put a keyframe, make sure that my right on is completely removed so I don't have any text. From there, I'll simply have a look into my other track, looking where do I want the wand to appear, go there with my playhead as I've done here, put a keyframe, go further by one frame, and then I can decide to bring whichever part of my title I want to see, have a keyframe, go to another place further down, another keyframe, moving one frame, displaying the rest of it. So maybe finishing the title here, go a bit further as well, a keyframe, going back one step, displaying more of that title, and then going a bit further, a keyframe, and then just displaying everything, right? Just for the sake of the tutorial. And then from here, we'll be able to say, hey, my custom title, awesome, but no more than four lines, please. And that's how you do it, right? There is no secret, there is nothing complicated here. There's just a quick and dirty way to make titles with two different ways. Either you like to go simple and just chop things around because it works for you. Either you want to customize a bit further at the character level into each of those words, and then you go with the text plus. Either way, that's up to you. I've told you everything I know. Let me know if you like to turn it like this in the comment section below, where I don't go into every nitty detail, but just give you the main element along the way. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for your time and your attention. Ciao.